So this is part five. Uh, so uh, let's make the inside walls of this uh, inner castle. So we can select these two here, uh, shift D, then scale in the X and Y plane. So S, shift uh, Z, something like this. Then move them around there. Uh, that's then I think I think these inside walls are supposed to be straight they they don't need to have this curve here <coughs> so let's uh, do that maybe they sh they curve like this I think they can curve the opposite direction so um, we can select these vertices here delete them I select this one here as well and uh, let's see let's see can uh, go in here and also maybe delete that go in here delete that as well so we have something like this and uh, we can subdivide that I change this to aligned and uh, move that inside like this and uh, scale scale it around there uh, we can I don't know let me see how can we approach this can it be just just like this then Let me first delete these extra vertices we added in. Let's see. I think maybe we can push this around here, and then push this out, out more like that. Maybe rotate it. Make sure this is recording. Good. And um, yeah, I think we also need to remove one of these edges here. So which one should it be? Can delete this. Move this like this. Make sure this is straight. You can scale this up like that but so to remove this distortion that you see there we just need to add extra vertices for the different corners. So just move this closer to straighten that up and uh, also subdivide this and bring this closer to straighten this side up. Need to do the same thing here. Subdivide, bring this closer to the curve. Also need to do this for this side, should we? I think we can just need bring that. Uh, maybe these walls are too close to each other, so we can bring those in a bit around there and uh, scale this down a bit. So for the inside part, that should be easy. We just need to create a plane. Or what we can do is just select these two curves, uh, duplicate them to have this, and then join them with Ctrl J to merge them into one object. Select this and this, Ctrl J, to merge them into one object. 
Now we can bring them back here. And uh, before we convert them into a plane, we need to go back to the uh, curve deformer, sorry, to the curve settings and reduce the resolution down to, let's see, to about three. And now we can convert them into a curve, into a mesh, uh, go to object, and then convert mesh. Let me first remove this. Okay. So now, let's see, let's see, where is this? Yes, this here. So we can select, let me see, what should we do? Origin to geometry, then shift S cursor to selected. So we can move this and work for, work on it on the side, and then after after doing whatever you want to do, we can snap it back to its position. So we need to remove some of these extra vertices that we don't need. X dissolve vertex. Dissolve vertex, dissolve vertex, dissolve vertex. Yeah. So these four should be aligned. And uh, we can select this, join that, select that and that. And uh, we can select this, hit F to make, to turn it into a single face like that. And uh, so it depends if you if you are comfortable with uh, end guns, you can just leave this as is. Uh, but uh, if you don't want to have end guns, uh, which are okay be because you're not going to be uh, deforming this in any way. Uh, but uh, you can just join them with J if you want. So also to give this more detail, uh, we can select. Let's first snap it back to position. So shift S selection to cursor and uh, select these vertices. Move them so that they align with our mirror object. And now uh, we can go to the modifiers and then turn on mirror. And then select this as our mirror object. Uh, make sure there is no gap between there uh, by turning on clipping. Uh, then we can move this down around there. So to give it more detail, to make it more detailed, we can select everything and then insert. <coughs> so we are having some issues. So let's first apply rotation and scale and uh, shift N to recalculate normals and then we can insert again. So we're still having some issues. Uh, so let's first isolate this and see what is causing them. So we have these vertices that are on top of each other. I think they are causing that issue there. So we can remove that and delete that as well. So let's try inserting again. And you can see it works just fine. Now we need to delete this face here and uh, move this. Do the same here. Face. Uh, let's select this edge. Then we can select this. We just need to add an impression like that so that in the castle you can see there is some bit of de detail. I don't know if that's how castles are, but uh, yeah. And, uh, if you want, you can add in uh, entrances in different spots. So maybe we can make this an entrance. Something like that. I, I really don't know how if the castle would be look would look like that and I'm too lazy to to go to Google that. Uh, but anyway 
Yeah, I think there's also, I don't know if these are also supposed to be double walls uh, like this. But uh, so far, that's what we have. So I want to test out something here. I haven't done it yet, but uh, let's see if we can add these windows without uh, destroying our modifier hierarchy here by applying it. So if I add a door, let me just select this here. Shift D, P to, com to make it its own object. I also need to extrude that like that. Apply rotation and scale. And uh, yeah, we can also apply the mirror and uh, then set origin to setter, origin to geometry. And uh, we can, let's try, see, let's see if uh, booleans would work here. So select this object, change to difference and uh, let's see does this work if we hide and scale it so that it goes through both walls like that and uh, if we hide it yeah it does work that is perfect now we don't have to destroy apply the entire stack and uh, we can easily delay edit any of the make any edits we want so let's unhide this uh, this entrance should be big I think so we can scale it up and then maybe as well in the X direction like that so we can also, what I usually like doing, uh, let me first apply rotation and scale here. What I usually like doing is uh, going to, uh, making an instance of the Boolean, so Alt D, like this, and uh, make the edits here uh, without affecting, without touching this, uh, so that I can easily work here uh, without the destruction, uh, without being distracted by uh, everything that is in this scene and I can also change the display uh, setting for this object. So where do I find the texture space? Um, let's see, let's see, where is this object data? Uh, viewport display and change it to wireframe so that I can easily see uh, how the boolean is affecting the object. And uh, I think I can scale this up even further in the Y direction so that it intersects with uh, this other object, this one here. And now uh, we can use the same Boolean modifier, Boolean, and then select this as the object and uh, change the operation to difference so that that entrance goes all the way in. And now we can come here and uh, we don't need this face here. So we can delete it. And we have that. I uh, see on this object, uh, we can select, let's first isolate this. <coughs> we need to also apply a mirror modifier on the Y direction like that, maybe, let's first turn on clipping, move this, select these, and then extrude in the Y direction, uh, turn on clipping, something like that would be great. Now we can unsolo this, yeah, and we have that. So if you want to be more detailed again, you can just you can select this loop from here to here. And uh, extrude that just a bit 
to add maybe around there to add just some bit of detail. Like that. So you can see that goes all the way in. Now we can add a flow for this. Yes, so we have our castle looking like that. And uh, I guess in the next uh, tutorial, we will be using more booleans to cut out uh, those uh, window frames and uh, maybe also add this ring uh, there as well. Yeah, so thank you.